Hello, Lawrence Grayson back again for shortformvideo.com with a Photoshop tutorial using the Merge to HDR Pro feature found in CS5. Now, um, a couple of years ago, I created this image of the Sydney Harbour Bridge shot at night, and you can see the Museum of Modern Art in the foreground. It's actually a stitched image, a stitched panorama, using HDR, high dynamic range photography, to overcome some of the exposure issues that night shooting gives you. So let's get started. To access the uh, HDR tool in Photoshop, you need to go to File, Automate, and Merge to HDR Pro. Now you can either open the files you want to merge in Photoshop first and select the Add Open Files, or you can use the Browse tool to uh, navigate to the folder where they are. Now if I just run through what I've got here, as I mentioned earlier, it's actually a stitched panorama, so I took this with a 50mm lens on my, my Canon 350D at the time. Now when I took these shots, um, I set it to Exposure Bracket, which means that it takes a standard exposure and then takes another two exposures, one that's um, one or two stops up and one that's uh, one or two stops down. So essentially you get uh, a, a group of three, one that's correctly exposed and one that's underexposed and one that's slightly overexposed. And uh, HDR merging basically takes these and combines the exposure values of each image to provide a higher dynamic range than you get from taking a single photograph. So what I'm going to do is going to take the, uh, the first three photographs of this group and open them up and just hit OK. Photoshop then takes those images and opens them up in the HDR preview tool and shows you the end result, which is this. So you can see the uh, original exposures down here and the end result. Now you can play around with the uh, some of the presets. You've got some interesting ones in here. You've got photorealistic or you've got uh, some of the kind of really saturated versions. Obviously that's a little bit excessive so we don't want to do that. I'm going to stick with default for now because that gives me the results that I'm after. So we'll be using the 16-bit mode with local adaptation selected and I'll just hit OK. Once you do that, um, Photoshop then takes the, the settings that you've selected in the HDR preview and applies them to the three images that you've selected and creates a single high dynamic range image. So uh, what I'm going to do now is just repeat that process for the remaining groups of images. And this is obviously going to take me a while, so um, go away, make yourself a cup of tea, and I'll see you back in a couple of minutes. Okay, so I've run the Merge to HDR uh, process on the remaining groups of images, and now I have four high dynamic range images to work with. Now, before we go any further, we need to save all of these images, so hit Control S. And just save them as Photoshop files. The reason we do that is because if we don't, when we get to the next step and try and photo merge them, Photoshop will tell us that we'll need we need to save them first. So let's just get that one out of the way. Okay, so we're ready for photo merge now. Go to File, Automate, and Photo Merge. Now you can select all kinds of um, settings from this, but uh, the Auto normally does a pretty good job. Um, and because we've still got the files open, we can just add open files to uh, select the files we want to create. So with Blend Images Together selected and Geometric Distortion Correction applied, just hit OK. Now you have to bear in mind that I've actually got some uh, fairly large files running here and it runs some fairly complex processes um, during this progress. So um, once again, I'm going to uh, let this do its business and uh, I'll see you back here when it's finished. Okay, so that's that process done. We're almost finished. Because we selected the Remove Geometric Distortion, it's adjusted the perspective um, effect that was created when I panned to each new set of frames from the tripod. And we've got an almost um, complete rectilinear image set up. It's matched things up pretty well. Um, but you can probably see these uh, lines that indicate how Photoshop has broken the images and merged them together. The other thing that it's done is that it's adjusted the exposure for each group 
Now the original images are actually radically different in some instances, in particular here. So if we go to the panorama you can see that there's actually a really smooth transition between the sky in all areas. Now in Photomatics I found the uh, the transition between the sky in the original set of photographs was, was quite bad. So CS5 is doing an excellent job of uh, just smoothing out the, the, the difference in exposure between all the groups. Okay, so uh, last thing to do is just crop it so it becomes a rectilinear image. So go to your crop tool and just select the largest frame you can without running outside of the image. And double click to complete it. Once you're happy with the uh, image as it is, go to Layer and Flatten. And it just merges all those images together, which then allows you to add any adjustments that you might like. So if you want to play with the uh, levels, for example, or possibly even play with the saturation, then you can do that here. So give it a go. Hope you found this tutorial useful. Thanks very much for watching, and I'll see you next time.